Hi everyone, for this skills video we're going to be talking about presentations. I'm using the word presentation to mean any time that you might stand up and talk in front of people. That could be a lecture, a seminar presentation or even something like a job interview. So when planning the content of your presentation you need to think of three things. Time, audience and resources. Once you put all those together you'll have a really solid idea of what you're actually going to be presenting. To start off with time, how long have you got? This one is the easiest one to think about, which makes it even more mystifying when people get it wrong. Many of you have probably been in a lecture when the lecturer says something like, oh, I've got all these slides to skip through and we're running out of time, so I'm just going to hop over them quickly. That's an indication of poor planning. Work out how long you've got. Is it a three minute thesis competition, a 20 minute seminar, an hour long lecture? However long you've got, plan to fill about 80% of that time. The extra 20% is for things going wrong, questions, and to let yourself arrive in the room and get everything settled. If you're nervous about presenting, you'll be even more nervous if you know that you've got exactly 20 minutes of worth of material to squeeze into 20 minutes worth of time. Having that little bit of extra float time means that you can afford to get yourself set up ready and you'll feel much more confident when speaking because you won't have to try and rush. If you try and rush, you might feel nervous and then you'll feel even more worse about giving the presentation next time. The easiest way to work out how you're going to fill your time is to practice. Rough out your presentation and then practice using a stopwatch. Once you've got your practicing down with your stopwatch, you'll be ready to actually give the presentation in front of an audience. And that takes me on to my next theme, audience. Who are you presenting to? How much do they know about your topic already? Is it a group of experts where you can assume a lot of prior knowledge? Is it a group of people that don't know anything at all about your topic where you'll have to do a lot more groundwork for them? Thinking about your audience means that you can tailor the content to them. For example, imagine you were going to talk about the architecture of Coventry Cathedral. You'd speak differently to a group of school children who might know nothing at all about the topic than you would to a local history group who were really, really interested in the topic and had visited the cathedral before. If you don't plan the content of your presentation, you risk them getting bored if they don't know anything at all about the topic and you're speaking at too high a level or frustrated if they know a lot about the topic and you're really speaking at too uh, simple of a level. So once you've thought about the time that you've got available and the audience that you're presenting to, you can think about the resources that you want to use. By resources, I mean anything that you use to help give a presentation. It could be a video like this one, it could be PowerPoint slides or a Prezi, it could be handouts or objects. Think about what will help your audience understand what you're talking about. Again, to go back to our cathedral example, if you're talking about architecture, your audience is going to understand things a lot better if you actually put some pictures of the buildings up. That could be in a presentation behind you, or you could print out photographs and hand them round. Having useful supporting resources will make sure that your presentation has a greater impact, that people will follow it more easily, and they'll be more engaged with what you're saying. However, if you could hand someone your PowerPoint slides and they could understand everything about your presentation without you being there, you need to rethink that. People come to see you, not your data. So there we go. Three things to help a successful presentation. If you want to know more about presenting, we've got lots of practical exercises available in our workshops. Again, have a look in the description for links to there. Until next time.